Hello everyone and welcome back to Melda 242 and thanks for tuning in today. So today I will be preparing steamed lobster. If you want to see how this is prepared then continue watching. Now you must have seen the part 1 video on how the meat is removed from the lobster tails in order to understand this. Let's get the cooking rolling. Okay, I'm going to be working with the meat from the tails of the lobster that's already been chopped up, chunked up. And here on the cotton board, I have some green peppers, onion, celery, garlic, thyme, and a half of an onion. Tomato paste. I have some browning, red pepper flakes, Crisco corn oil. I can't believe it is in butter. And of course, the chunky lobster now I'm putting it putting some sour lime over it just a half of the lime squeezing it over the meat a little season I just lost the piece okay so I'm just squeezing that over the lobster I've already put the oil in the pan Crisco corn oil about a tablespoon now I'm gonna put a tablespoon of butter I can't believe it isn't butter along with the oil in the pan. <clears throat> Let that melt down. Okay, that's melting. Okay, to, to that I'm going to add the onions and the celery. I'm going to add those two first only just so that because they take the longest to cook. I'm just adding those two in so that they can get a bit soft. They will take the longest to soft. If I put the garlic and the sweet pepper in, they're going to burn, cook faster than the onion and the celery. So I just, I'm just going to let those two soften a bit first before I add the other two in. So I'm going to open the onion up. Make sure it cooks, it gets softened. I'm adding the green pepper, bell pepper in it, and the garlic. I'm going to just pull the leaves off the stems of the thyme, cooking thyme. And then I'm just going to put the stems right in. Sometimes I just put the, the entire thing in with the leaves on it, but feeling good today, I just pull them off. Now I put the entire stem in after pulling the leaves off, but that's not to be eaten. I'll just take them out when it is finished or before I serve it. So I'm just going to work that through the thyme, through the onion, sweet pepper, celery, garlic, the butter and the oil. Now to that I'm adding some red pepper flakes, red pepper flakes to the herbs. And I'm going to put a tablespoon of crunched tomato paste and getting all of that out of the spoon. Oh yes, my favorite tomato paste. Every bit off. Good. Now I'm going to work the tomato paste through the herbs. I'm stirring that through to make sure I coat everything in the pan. Okay, I'm getting there. Remember, I've already put the pepper flakes in as well. Notice I didn't put any salt. Now I'm putting some garlic salt. That's the only salt I'm going to use. Because the lobster is already seasoned. It's from the sea, so it has a, it's a, it has a lot of salt, sodium in it already. So I'm not going to put any salt. I use the garlic salt. A bit of that. It's like about a half of 
tablespoon of garlic salt. Now I'm putting to that some browning. Like a half a tablespoon of browning. So that it wouldn't look so pale. A nice color it would give it. Now I am adding the bad boys in. The lobster tail. Chunky lobster tail. I'm putting it, all of it, every bit of it into the pan. Look at that. All right. Now I'm going to coat every piece of that with the stuff that I put in earlier, the tomato paste, the browning, the oil, the butter in the pan that I haven't had in the pan earlier. I'm just going to coat all of that. So I'm just going to stir it through. Just keep turning it over until everything turns brown brown or yes so I'm just stirring it away before I um added the cover I sprinkled um like about a handful of water over it thank you for watching this video all the way to the end be sure to like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you would know whenever something new is uploaded Share this video with family and friends so that they could see what your girl is doing in the 242. God bless you and see you in the next one. Be sure to check out the description box below for the ingredients for this satisfying dish.